Hello. We are talking about builder grade concrete plug-in and the subject of this video is the CSI and WBS codes. WBS stands for work breakdown structure. We have our project here and I've done some more takeoff and we're going to do a little takeoff right here um, to start this out. So I'm going to zoom in and this is the mezzanine area and I'm just going to say that this is a, a slab on metal deck and I'm going to call up this assembly right here to take this off identify the thickness the concrete waste the PSI I'm going to leave blank the location floor and WBSO1 for right now I click that and I start my takeoff here and once again I'm not doing this really neat I'm just doing it quick because I'm showing points about how to use the plugin hit escape when I'm done and that takeoff has been added into the system If we go to estimating and we look at this assembly that we have taken off you can see with the properties of the assembly that we have here all these line items that the division the subdivision and the phase of the work has been assigned now this is actually done in the plugin itself. You can modify this as you want. If you go to any of these line items of activity and go to the properties and the form, you can see right down here you have the division, subdivision, and phase. They're all filled in. Every line item in this assembly has this filled in. You can modify them if you want. You just click here and you come into the list of uh, CSI codes. So you can modify this if you want at any uh, at any of these line items and come in here and then reassign this. But they've all been assigned and I, we've reviewed this and they're they're all good. But you can change them if you want. The list that these are uh, derived from is under the list menu here, and it's the O3 concrete. Now this is a starting point, and you can add into this list for the CSI codes any additional CSI phases that you want. I've kept this at a rather high level, but you can uh, add in many more uh, CSI codes if you like. The WBS codes are different. When you are taken off each of the line items, the WBS codes, and if I go back to the form again, the WBS codes are to be added in. And if we look at this uh, graphic here, and I turn off the columns for the division, subdivision, and the phase, I have two of the WBS codes filled in for the location which I'm which we're identifying the buildings with and for the floor slab on grade foundations and such like that you could also use floor one floor two however you want to break apart your estimate notice that there's one that I've done on purpose that is blank and then the one we just took off now these CSI codes and the WBS codes you have reports for them so I can come over here to the reports and let's look at the takeoff quantities by location. And you can see that we have building 11, 12, and 13. So if I would like to see what work is in building 11, here it is. Here's the concrete and here's the earthwork. And you can notice that they're the same assembly names. And in other words, this is the concrete work of this assembly right here. And this is the earthwork, which is the shape and grade of that assembly right there also. So you can see that the work is broken apart but we also see this line right here where there is no location and you, we can see that there's some work that has not been assigned. So if we go back to our estimating tab and this is a reason I've done this and we start looking around we can see where we need to be adding in these WBS values. So if you want to break apart your estimate so that you can get reports that show you the breakup or, or how the estimate is, is coming into different uh, codes or WBS codes, you've got to input that at the time of takeoff. But you can also modify it. And I'll show you how to do that. We come over to the home page and if I right, if we click on this and you see how it's all highlighted and now I right click on it with my right click and I'm right handed you can, as you know, you can change the mouse around. I can go to Properties, 
and notice that now I can come back in and reassign where this work wants to go and I don't have a value here so I'm just going to type O2 mezzanine on that and this work for whatever reason will be in o uh, overtime and I can assign that value. Now we come back and look at estimating there was one other slab on grade that has not yet been assigned so I can come out and start looking around my estimate and as I start seeing slab on grades I can right click on them the they're highlighted I go to properties and I can see that this one is filled in and it's actually this one right here so I go to properties and I can say oh okay you belong to building 12 I click OK we go back to the reports and notice now that everything is assigned to a building so you can get the reports by building, by floor, by the CSI codes. So here is the CSI codes for the concrete, the forming, the placement, the reinforcing. If I go to forming and look at the footing forms, here are the footing forms. Here is the curing, for example. So these reports all come in the plugin along with that list that I showed you earlier. And these reports are starting points. You can modify these reports for your use all that you want. And that's the intent when I put them together. So this is a little video about how the CSI and the WBS codes work inside of the plugin. I appreciate your time to view the video. It's been almost seven minutes. Thank you very much. Bye.